I've purchased a ride, this is a real short video, I've purchased a riding lawnmower and a trailer, both on clearance together it set me back about, well $1,500 because this is set up from my little Red Ranger here, and I'll show you the kit I bought from a big Ford truck, it may go up to $1,600 actually because I gotta go buy expensive drill and drill bit, but uh, I get the step over bunt hitch bumper thing here. I bought this to work in the clubhouse. Saws all with blades. And here I got the bug spray for grass, my bonus. Some wheat grass killer straps. Electric chainsaw. Electric weed eater. This little right thing is step bumper hitch receiver. Which is this. I'll be putting that on the Ford. The old black truck. And this is why I have to go buy a new drill. And a drill bit for these massive bolts to drill on the bumper. Black Ford out there. But once you know you buy the land for 220 bucks, you spend 16 or 1800 dollars to be able to maintain it for a motor. But people are saying I should get an average at least 10 to 15 years out of this thing, so still cheaper than the cheapest lawnmower you can buy every year. But this truck here, it has the overload, so I'm not worried about towing that tiny little trailer, see? It has the wiring already. It's just that this ball hitch here is going to be way too high at that trailer. And I'm worried about the center or the gravity. If the trailer's too high, then it could, you know, dump the load. And maybe I'll hook it and see because it doesn't. Oh, I can't. She's got the keys. Damn it. Oh, so much for that stupid idea. Looks like it's going to rain today, too. Feels nice. It's 71 degrees. It's been a welcome break. Oh, and good news. Monday, the mechanic comes in and he will replace my dipstick tube. I put a new, new dipstick tube o ring gasket so it shouldn't leak no more. And besides that. I just got my friend bleed the brakes. If it had a heater, this thing here would be 100% mechanical. Nothing wrong with it. And the old caddy's still running after the mechanic told me 13 months ago I went around another week. And it's still running, my dad's old car. So we've had that car for four years now. And uh, after the mechanic told me right after guy, he said it won't last a week. I haven't put no money in it. So, yeah. And it was free, so you can't beat that. I mean, my dad gave me the one lot, and I bought three more lots. That's cost me way more money than that Cadillac ever did. But I got this trailer here for $300 in clearance at Orshelands. A little 4 by 6 tilt trailer, and I got some straps. And I've used it to mow this yard. I haven't used it to mow the clubhouse yet. I'm very pleased with this thing. Already. Real pleased with it. We had them, it did have a panel loose. And I made them get the bolt and fix it. Because I wasn't going to fix it myself. I mean, I did pay for thousand for in clearance. But yeah, it dries up there really easy. The other thing I had to figure out is how I was going to do this one person only. So I got a little metal rod, and I stick it up here on the end, and then I uh, put the tires on it and move the metal rod, a little garden flagpole actually. And then what you got is this when you drive it up, when I drive it back, the weight should dump it. It's going to be really easy to load. So I just wanted to show you guys that real quick.